setup coming in from the side of Deus Vault is definitely really interesting to watch. And two assassins in that sort of sense as well. Yeah. So after it's game one, Onyx BH versus Deus Vault Esports team. Now that you mention it, you do bring up a very good point about how both compositions are pretty mechanical because, again, it's not easy to land uh, land the abilities coming in uh, from Lilia. You kind of usually have, like, you know, a Kaya, uh, sorry, a Kaja or a Cho, something with some hard lockdown to, so you don't really have to aim it too much because there is a good possibility you could miss it. Ooh, Sunset nearly losing his Viraga armor, and it's only been level one. They're not going to go with traditional lanes here. Let's see how they play this out. Well, for starting uh, this vault is going to be uh, making sure that they secure those buffs in hand. So that's going to be Natal diving all the way back. Zika is getting caught out. Two versus one and Greed. Well, what can I say? Greed is definitely good as the Lark gets first blood Ooh. for Onyx BH. I mean, she did get to steal the buff, but instead dies in response. And now QP is just stuck by himself in lane. Greedy play coming in from Natalia and was very close to actually profit profiting off of it. However, she's just too low. And again, level one, you don't mess. You just don't mess with the Grok as well as the Lilia. You will get chunked out. Well, I'm not too sure whether if the buff is anything worth that sort of depth, that sort of sense. But looking into oh. this early game, that's going to be Abyssal and Alor landing. And oh, that almost was a steal. But Dilar is going to run off and eventually taken off by Sawa. And what did I tell you? Bloodbath already. Both sides just going back and forth, making sure they know who's boss. Oh, yes. And look at Sunset, though. Of course, 2v1 feeling way better than the top side <laughs> where, oh, <laughs> uh, you know. They're uh, struggling there. <laughs> I, I just don't feel like some of all these sort of uh, tension in the early game is well worth it. But speaking of that, Zika once again on the Natalia is just uh -oh. having not so much of that sort of exit point she's and stuck. now that's a free kill she's stuck she thought <laughs> she could go on through the top side it looked like there was a little bit of a gap there but again that guardian's bear can be deceiving well guardian's barrier is definitely that one spell that usually will be pulled out uh in that jungle to actually uh get so much of that passage being uh covered up and now from the side of this vault they're up to something here to actually catch out green yeah, Law and Order being popped already by Lil Happy. But again, Power of Nature doesn't allow him to get stunned. He walks through, sees all three members, and the rest of the team back off, trying to contest for mid-priority here. Lil Happy taking quite a bit of damage. Ooh, he's getting chucked out. Whoa. He's forced to pop the Revitalize. Oh, there we go. Kobe immediately forces out all these skills. And wow, Lilia did not expect the damage output. And now 2-2 two, two each. Still pretty much drawn out. But Zika on a 1v1 against Dillar. I don't really think that's going to be great here. Greed is already Ooh. dropping low, and here goes. First turtle being attempted by Deuce Ball. Yeah, Wise wasn't expecting to get stunned but for so long from Lil Happy. That Law and Order was important, but the back line is in trouble Lark. now as Zika is trying to look for a catch onto Greed. He could try and turn this, but he can't. Actually, he been dis he has been disarmed. He is just hiding in that smoke screen, trying to stay immune. He dashes right on out of there, and the rest of Deuce Ball pick up the kill onto Basha. Deuce Ball's steps were a little bit more clear-cut and concise, and I'm not too sure. Onik PH, they were already low, and they still want to actually give it a go. And now, of course, advantage given over the side of Deuce Vault. Of course, uh, items are slowly stacking up here. Looking at the Lunox, possibly going for concentrated energy in a little bit more. Blizzing the wet, not really hitting all too much. Three members down over the bottom side for Onyx BH here, securing the River Crab. Yeah, they're going to peel back here, take away the River Crab, build their economy ever so slowly. But again, Deuce Vault, even though they have one kill ahead of Onyx BH, they still need to farm. They're not like super far ahead, they're just only slightly. But it's three minutes into the game. That 1k isn't going to matter too much. The levels are about even. Oh, Ooh. getting chucked out here. The crit is a little too much. He pops the smoke screen later, so he protects himself from the disarm. Nicely played. Whoa, great backup claim from Delar as well. If he was there, uh, of course, like the rest of the members that were there a little bit earlier, then it might just be a turnaround of events where Zika could have just got caught out. But oh. here comes Greek coming from the back as well, going in with the wall charge. And there it goes. Four members on the top side here to put him down. Yeah, but I don't think they have enough time because the minion wave is being pushed all the way down. I think they can put some damage into that tier two. Uh, for the rest of Dio's fault, they break that tier one and now are rotating towards the mid side. The gold differentials from both of them slowly increase. You can see how focused they are into is taking the bottom side. And there it goes. Oh, oh that was really, really dirty <laughs> as we see L.Y. Canoe just running at one off. Now, it's going to be Greed just uh, pushing some of all these members back. 
and they do secure the tower over and above side for Zeus Bolt. Yeah, they're just holding their ground, looking for someone to maybe get a pick with the Abyssal Arrows here. Zika just doing his best, and he's doing a pretty good job keeping a. Uh, Delar in check. Now, Turtle is under contention here. The rest of the team holding their ground. Viraga armor is up for Sunset. He could look to turn this around with the last insanity, but he's going to secure, help secure that Turtle with no issues whatsoever. They've already lost a lot of all that pressure to towards the river, so there's no way that Onyx uh, knows uh, how to actually get anywhere uh, nearby. And it's really not worth it to even uh, try to actually secure that Turtle in that sort of sense. And it's having cleared out. Little Happy dropping really low, but they do have the Righteous Path with alongside with the Rejuvenate to keep himself alive. But there's no point in staying there. Oh, one more hit will be able to do the trick, but Onyx Page will let him lose. You mean revitalize, but yeah, he yeah. does make it out with one HP at the very end of it. A lot of damage coming through, even a Holy Baptism by Oh My Venus, but he's trying his best. Oh, Sunset, he blows right in front of him. Oh. And he's trying to pull it through. Claude's in trouble. A little bit of health uh -huh. just left. Battle Mirror Image, he turns it around. The Revitalizer has been dropped in the heel, but the Darkening coming out of QP is going to be too much as he takes one out. The Chaos Assault is too deadly. But again, Claude, he still is able to hold on. Picks up a kill onto Lunox and Sunset. Bails out of there. He don't wants no part. Zika, he has to pull back. One more oh. hit. Ooh. Shadow Shock Wave already locks him down. Wise is just landing these abilities one after the other. Wow, look at Wise though. Still getting chunked out by Sawo. Sawo's trying to actually assassinate her, but it's too much of a deal here with Reed being up in the front lines. I just love this back and forth from both ends here. And right down below, we look at Onyx uh, PH. They were really in that great position. Three versus two, but a little bit of a misstep here causing one of their lives uh, to fall. Now, Vivu just uh, going to be holding on to the millet for the time <laughs> being. And, well, that's just going to be a little bit of that back and forth going on. And the next hurdles coming up online. Yeah, and just, well, just losing a little bit of their lead now. Onyx VH is slowly coming back into this game. Again, 1K goal lead, not too much. Battle Mirror Image coming in for the Claude. He doesn't want to get caught out. Ooh, Abyssal Arrow, of course, flying true. Soon. But that's one Grok that <laughs> is pretty well tanky. Already level 8. And... Venus just soaking a little bit of that stun, a little bit of that sort of defense going on for Masha over the top side as well. Well, Sunset's just going to be slowly farming up, and here it goes. Corona Tree in the hands of Onyx PA. Kale, as old as time, Turtle is still the contestant point for both of these teams, but Deuce Vault is forced to walk backwards. Sunset going to try and turn this around. Last Insanity, he's going to break his armor to kind of make some space. The rest of the team is there to support him. Law and Order lands onto the Grog. Grog, full gauge coming in from that Faraga. Damage, but now, Lil Happy, he's holding his ground. Comes pops, quickly. he pops down the Glorious Pathway. He wants to catch somebody off. Grog Greed is walking away through the tri brush. He's going to be safe. Dodges the Abyssal Arrow, but the backline oh, is in trouble. Wise. Claude, he's in trouble. They dropped them, revitalized. The rest of the team is still pulling on through. They are not winning this QP. Goes down next. A double kill for the Claude. Great comeback coming in from the side of Onyx PH as we're looking at them chasing all the way in, breaking down the first turn off the bottom side. And now there's also a great wave hitting towards the top. But Zika is trying to deal with this situation as well. But wow. Look like we saw Wise coming a little bit late, but just on time to actually burst yeah. down Koopy in that sense. Yeah, I mean, great plays coming in from the Claude. He's just kind of dancing around them, kind of baiting out stuff from the enemy team. And now Deus Fault, they're kind of just biting on these, uh, biting on the bait every single time. Yeah, and like uh, if they just kept getting baited, sure, this will be really costly. And Sunset now purchasing the Immortality is going to be, give him a little bit more breathing room for him to go in for better dives. And speaking of the dive here, he's being all the way up in the front lines here, knowing that he has his very armor. It shouldn't be any sort of a hassle to actually get a couple of all these sort of charges. And here comes a lot more stacks coming in the way. Last Insanity being popped. And now he's getting stuck by the barrier. And Zika's just going to engage, looking for it. Well, I can do, and now it's gonna be a full on full fight with Rafael killing getting one spree. killing spree for the plot as well. Could be too much opposition, <laughs> but takes down the Masha and Grit's just gonna give chase Lord for a little bit more. Soon. Three members versus one. Could be could not possibly turn this one around, but oh, look at how kill. tanky and how much sustain that's in this Lunox. Yeah, and she's holding his ground. Old Sunset trying to turn around. Last insanity popped already. Is he gonna survive? Whoa. No way. No way. Wise says, nah, 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 nah. You're going down, my friend. Oh my, Wise with the loads of damage. But this is what I really love about Lilia. Like, sometimes you just do not 
know how much she can deal. And the later the game goes, the stronger she gets. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, boy. This is becoming a more and more difficult game for Deuce Vault now, giving up a 5k and a 5k gold deficit against Onyx. And we can see that their team composition kind of thrives off of this lead. Like, Delar, he's got so much damage. He's already got the Demon Hunter Sword. Very close to getting hit, uh, a Golden Staff. And I think he might already have it by now. Yeah, he should be able to actually have it. And then goes Lord number one in the hands of Onyx DHS Wall. And <laughs> none of these members from the side of Deuce Vault could even find the likes of the Claude. And he's already 4-0 and up. But with Sunset now already trying to start something up just to clear off the wave. And Reed is just trying to block the exit points oh, for the time. Oh, damage! Whoa. My god! They pulled back. I mean, Weiss nearly got oh, no. caught out there with the Black Shoes. Now, Reed is taking a little bit too much here. He gets stunned by the Abyssal Arrow, but he's going to be A-OK. -okay. Zika can't find an angle to get into that back line. Weiss, he's without the Black Shoes. He is vulnerable, but the rest of his team is protecting him. Well, uh, I, I guess that's some great protection. But looking at Sao oh. here, getting chunked out. Here goes the Blazing Duet. Immediately flickering in towards the battle. And instead, this will be the first step for the Claude. A little bit of a late response coming in from the rest of Onik BH. As we see a big blow towards QP as he will fall. That's going to be a one for one for now, but they open up the mid lane tower with a great push. And of course, with Lord marching in from the top side, which means Wall Charge will be able to connect. And now, members of Deuce Fall in pieces. And this might just be game for Onyx PH if they can escort the Lord into the base. Yeah, and Lord still isn't all oh, finally. It gets broken by the Lord, and the Lord is still probably going to keep walking on. The rest of the team should have taken it out by now, but they've lost so much at this point. Sawa is just going to keep on running as far as he can, and Onyx Green, he's not letting him go well that's definitely a really tricky situation but look at wise freely roaming around and there finally we get that kill over on to uh one of these members here but oh there we go oh, oh that was nasty raid kill <laughs> both sides were like no i'm gonna bring you down with me Look at them, they're just fighting all the way to the end. Sunset's gonna be the next one on the chopping block with the wall charge being landed. There goes the la mega kill for the rock and greed. Still has the immortality so he can play as he please. Yeah, and Claude already responding. He's making his way using the battle mirror image to kind of shorten the time he takes to get to the base here. But Adios Vault, one more second until Sinus comes back out. Glorious Pathway already popped out. They're just holding their ground. 4v3. Let's see how this is around. Unstoppable Zika is gone down, and the crystal is trying to be broken in as they beef up their game. Re strategizing for Deuce Vault. But then again, let's have a look in towards uh, post match statistics here. And of course, the big.